Hi there! For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create an email on your web domain. We're going to use cPanel to create this email account, and it's going to forward all of your emails to your actual regular email address if you wish, or you can just keep this separate email account on your domain. So what we're going to do is go into your cPanel, and we're going to scroll down until we see Mail. And you can see we've got all kinds of different selections here, but let's go ahead and go into Email Accounts. Now a lot of these server companies will have a video tutorial you can go through, or you can just watch this one. So let's say, for instance, I want to make an email address that's going to be admin at wordpresstutorialhub.com. And this is going to be for me, because I'm the admin. And I'm going to go in and put in a password. or you can click on password generator. Just remember if you use the password generator you're going to want to copy and paste the password into a notepad file so you can paste it in later. Underneath you'll have if you want to have a mailbox quota or if you want unlimited. I'm going to leave it at 256 megs because that's what comes free with my account and I'm going to click on create account. And now account is created for admin WordPress tutorial hub. Underneath, you'll see that I can search my email for email addresses, and it also has any accounts that I have. So admin at wordpresstutorialhub.com, how much I've used of my space, my quota, and the percentage once I've actually used some. Here, you can change your password, so if you used your password generator before, or if you just want to change your password now, you'll just need to put in your new password, then put it in again, and click on Change Password. You can change your quota, or you can delete this account. You can see right here that this shows you how many results per page you can have. And I only have one email address right now, but if you start building up a lot of addresses, like for other users, then you'll have 25, 50, or 100 on each page. I'm going to leave mine at 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down that says more. And it's going to ask if you want to access your webmail or configure your email client. I'm going to go ahead and click on access webmail. It's going to ask for your password. So this is going to be the password that I just put in. So I'm going to put the email address that I had just entered and click log in. And it's going to take me to my email. Well, right now I don't have any email, but when I do, it will be listed on this page. So we have here as well, we can change the password, go into auto responders, and auto responders are good, let's say, if you want people to know that you're going to respond as soon as you receive their email, or let's say that you want to put one for a holiday. So I'm going to put here from Brooke, the subject is auto response for vacation, and my body would be I'm on vacation until July 5th, but I'll be checking email until then remotely. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now you can either set it up to start immediately or at custom times. So you can schedule it, let's say you're leaving for vacation tomorrow, you can schedule it for then. You can also set when you want to stop that message. So let's say after July 5th I don't want this message to show up anymore so I'll click on custom and I'll click on the day that I want it to stop. When I'm done with that, I'll click on Create and Modify. So every time someone sends an email to this address between now and July 5th, they're going to get this response, which is my auto response for vacation. You can also choose whether this is going to include HTML, and if it is, you're going to click this box. Next, I'm going to go ahead and configure my mail client. Again, you can configure this to go with Outlook, if you like to use Outlook, Outlook Express, IMAP, etc. And you'll click on the video tutorial to do that. But when you click on each of these, it'll show you that it is going to install the proper mail setting for whichever setting you choose. And it tells you how to do it. If you're prompted to open, run, or save the file, click run or open this file from its current location. If you want to enter the information into the registry, choose yes. And you would go ahead and save the file. Underneath, we also have manual settings, so you can go ahead and choose any of these that you would put into your mail configuration, and I'm going to click go back. Next is email filtering. 
Email filtering means that if anyone sends you an email with perhaps a particular word in it, let's create a new filter, and this will be, you can change your rules if it's from someone to someone, has something in particular in the subject, reply to address and so on, equals, matches, contains, or doesn't contain, etc. And then here you'll put in your text. Let's say, for instance, that you want to get rid of anyone who's trying to sell you something. So let's say that you want to take out the phrase low, low price. So we'll say if the subject says in it low, low price, and then choose our action. Discard it, redirect it to our email, fail with message, stop processing rules, deliver to folder, or pipe to a program. I want to automatically discard it. You can also add additional ones by clicking on the plus and click create. And I've successfully created a new filter. I'm going to go back to the filters list and this shows me rule one. And when I click edit, it shows me that it, the subject equals low, low price. Now you can either delete it or you can edit it or you can create a new filter again and add a new filter on. You can also test the message. So I'm going to put low, low price test and click test filter. And this is the results, normal delivery, and these are the results. And I'm going to click on go back. I can also put an email trace. And this allows you to review email delivery attempts from your account. You can see the details of delivery attempts, including whether the message was delivered or whether the message from the account's mail server was sent to a remote address. So you can put the recipient's email and click on Run Report. So let's go back again. Here I'm given three choices on which of these I want to use to enable my auto load. Let's say that I want to read my mail using Horde. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to tell it I want to log in. Now I don't have any email right now, but if I did, I would be able to put it in here. But if I did, I would be able to read it in here, filter it, make notes, have a calendar, tasks, and contact search. And as you can see, this is set up just like any other email address. So I'm going to go back into host panel, and I'm going to take a look at how to forward my emails. So back into the cPanel I go, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to go into forwarders. Now on the forwarder screen, you'll see that there are actually two separate options to forward the email account or all, domain, or all email for a domain. So for this one, you can forward individual mail accounts or all email from one domain to another. I'm just going to click an add forwarder right now. So in my address to forward, I'm going to go ahead and put in admin which is wordpresstutorialhub.com and I'm going to forward it to my regular email address which is wordpresstutorialhub.com at gmail.com Now I can also go into advanced options. I can discard with an error to sender and you can put your error message in here. If you want to forward to a system account or pipe to a program which enters a path relative to your home directory or discard the email. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it forwarding to my regular email address and click Add Forwarder. Click Go Back and you'll see that it's here on my screen. So every time someone sends you an email through your website to admin at wordpresstutorialhub.com then it's automatically going to forward it to your forwarding address which is wordpresstutorialhub at gmail.com. So I hope you found this tutorial easy and I think it's a lot faster than you think it's going to be. So go ahead, use it, enjoy it, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.